Hello. Uh, I would like to talk on my next device, which is called a limit switch. Limit switch is a very versatile device that I can use in the field uh, for many different applications. Uh, I could use it maybe pipe up to a conveyor system, throw this one on there for a box that would go by, or maybe use it as a door as it's raising or a door that's closing, um, uh, different limits in and out. Uh, this top portion can be backed off and switched around. I can take this wheel and I can adjust the wheel uh, for different angles. It could come up at an angle and then be straight up and down and so on. So it's very, very versatile. Um, this actuator on top can actually be um, a whisker, what we call a whisker or just a, a device that comes up. It could be nothing more than a ball bearing as something goes across uh, and hold it down. So it, it comes in many different forms. What I'd like to do is open up this front window here and show you the inner workings, the internal workings of this device. We see as we open this up that I have uh, two sets of contact points one of them being normally open and one of them being normally closed. Um, I can take my meter at this point and verify that I'm um, uh, in good working order and sometimes this sticker is missing or it has been damaged where I can't see what's normally open and normally closed. So what I'm going to do, test my meter and put it across two of these points right here and then manually activate it and identify which is normally open, normally closed. Now, when I put my meter on these two points here and I don't hear any continuity or any sound, that's telling me that they're normally open in the de-energized state. And when I test and activate this switch, I do get uh, this meter to close telling me I have continuity and that they are normally open. The next one, I'm gonna go to the two ports below. I see that I get continuity Right away, I activate the switch to verify that they are indeed normally closed. Now what I'm going to do with this information is I'm going to document it somewhere in the event uh, something were to be damaged here and so on. The next thing I'd like to do is be able to just pop my contact block out and show you the internal workings. I have a plunger or activator or actuator here that's going up and down on the inside and just simply opening and closing a block on top here with some switches, the internal switches of that. So there is the internal workings uh, and how a basic limit switch works. Thank you.